In this video, we are going to write the Henderson Hasselbalch equation for a given buffer solution and calculate the pH of a buffer solution using the Henderson Hasselbalch equation before and after addition of strong acid or base. 7.1K Henderson Hasselbalch equation. For an acidic buffer solution, consider it contains HA weak acid and its conjugate base A minus. The equation would be HA dissociate into H plus and A minus. The HA comes from weak acid and A minus comes from the ionization of a salt. If we write the acid concentration constant, we will get Ka equal concentration H plus times concentration A minus divided by concentration HA. By applying negative log, on both sides, we have negative log H plus equal negative log Ka plus negative log concentration HA over concentration A minus. And then negative log H plus is equal to pH, negative log Ka is equal to pKa plus if we want to change the negative on negative log HA over A minus we can change into plus log concentration A minus over concentration HA hence we will get the Henderson Hasselbalch equation for weak acid for a basic buffer solution, consider the following base dissociation ration. We have B as weak base, react with water and produce BH plus and OH minus. The base dissociation constant can be written as KB equal BH plus concentration BH plus times concentration OH minus and divided by concentration B or we can rearrange into concentration OH minus equal KB times concentration B over concentration BH plus by applying negative log on both sides, we will get negative log concentration OH minus equal negative log KB plus negative log concentration B over concentration BH plus. Negative log OH minus is equal to POH negative log KB is PKB and negative log concentration B over BH plus can be rearranged into log concentration BH plus over concentration B and we will get the Henderson Hasselbalch equation for weak base 7.1 L Calculation of pH of buffer solutions using Henderson Hasselbalch equation. For example, acidic buffer. We write first the formula of Henderson Hasselbalch equation for weak acid. We have pH equal to pKa plus log concentration of conjugate base over 
concentration of weak acid. Example questions. A. Calculate the pH of 1 liter solution containing 0.30 molar CH3COOH and 0.1 molar CH3COONA. Given that the Ka for CH3COOH is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. To answer these questions, the first step is to write the formula. Questions A is easy because there is no addition of strong acid or strong base. So we use the formula straight away. So pH equal to pKa which means negative log Ka plus conjugate base is CH3COO minus and weak acid CH3COOH. Substitute the value and we will get the pH for the solution is 4.27. Question B. What is the pH when 10 ml of 0.01 molar HCl is added to the buffer solution in A? To solve this question, we must first know how much number of moles of HCl is added. So, we use the formula MV divided by 1000, 10 times 0 0.01 divided by 1000 and we will get 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Then, we write the dissociation equation for HCl and we, we, we can see here that there is 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4, H plus is added. So, in this question, we have acidic buffer solution, a small amount of acid is added. In this question, conjugate base CH3COO- will neutralize the acid added. So, we write the equation between CH3COO- and H+. And we will produce CH3COOH. For initial mole, CH3COO- we can calculate 1 times 0.1 equal to 0 0.1 mole while for CH3COOH 1 times 0 0.3 equal 0 0.3 at this point we use the formula MV for the second row mole added is specific for how much H plus is added in this question, there is 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So for mole changes, we will subtract the amount of H plus added for return and plus for product. So minus 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 for CH3COO- and H+, while CH3COOH plus 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4. For final answer, we will get 0 0.0999 for CH3COO- 0 for H+, and 0 0.3001 for CH3COOH. Alright, the next step 
is to calculate the total volume. So we have 1 liter plus 10 milliliter of HCl, which total up to 1.01 liter. So we use the volume total to calculate the final concentration of CH3COO minus, which turns out to be 0.0989 molar. While for CH3COOH, it becomes 0.2971 molar. Then we use the formula and substitute the value and we will get the pH is 4.27. Not much affected from the answer in A. For question C, what is the pH when 1 milliliter of 0 0.1 molar NaOH is added to the buffer solution in A? Again, first we must find the number of moles of base added. By using the formula MV divided by 1000, we will get 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. By using the dissociation equation, we know that the OH minus added is 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Since D is an acidic buffer solution, if strong base is added, the weak acid CH3COOH will react to neutralize the base added. So we write the equation between CH3COOH and OH minus. The product will be CH3COO minus and H2O. For initial mole, we will uh, we will calculate for CH3COOH 1 times 0 0.3 equal to 0 0.3 CH3COO minus 1 times 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.1 Mol added specific for OH minus which is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 For mole changes we minus the amount of OH minus added for reactants and plus for products. So the final mole for CH3COOH is 0 0.2999, 0 for OH minus and 0 0.1001 for CH3COO minus. The volume total will be 1 liter plus 1 milliliter, which turns out to be 1.001 liter. Calculate the concentration of CH3COO minus, so we will get 0 0.1 molar. And concentration for CH3COOH, and we will get 0 0.2996 molar. The pH will be 4.27. Let's see example for basic buffer solution. Write the formula first. POH equal to PKB plus log concentration BH plus over concentration B we, uh, whereas BH plus is conjugate acid and B is weak base. Example question. Calculate the pH of the solution prepared by mixing 500 milliliter 
of 0.1 molar hydrazinium chloride and 2 H5Cl with 500 milliliter of 0.2 molar hydrazine and 2 H4 given Kb for N2 H4 is 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 6. For these questions, for question A, we didn't get the final concentration. Instead, we are given the volume and initial concentration. For So, for our first step is to find the concentration of the N2H5Cl and N2H4. So we use MV to find the mole. So we take 0 0.5 uh, from 500 milliliter turns into a liter times 0 0.1 divided by 1 liter. Okay, so where does 1 liter comes from? It comes from the total volume 500 milliliter plus 500 milliliter turns out to be 1000 milliliter or 1 liter. So, number of moles of N2H5Cl divided by total volume, we will get the new concentration which is 0 0.05 molar while for N2H4 we will get 0 0.1 next we use the formula POH equal PKB plus log conjugate acid over weak base substitute the value and we will get the POH equal to 5.47. Using the formula pH equal to 14 minus POH, we will get the pH is 8.53. For question B, calculate the new pH of the buffer after the addition of 2 ml of 0 0.1 molar HCl. The same process uh, as the previous example. The first step is to calculate the number of moles of HCl added. Using the formula MV divided by 1000. And then, by using the dissociation equation, we know that the number of moles of H plus added is 2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Next, we write, uh, sorry, next, we determine that if acid is added to basic buffer, Weak base N2H4 will react to neutralize the acid added. So we write the equation between weak base N2H4 and H plus and produce N2H5 plus. The initial mole for N2H4 is 1 times 0 0.1. <clears throat> equal to 0 0.1 while for N2H5 plus is 1 times 0 0.05 equal to 0 0.05 mole added specifically for H plus 2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 for mole changes minus 2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 for returns and plus 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 for products. So we will get the final mole for N2H4 
is 0 0.0998 04H plus and 0 0.0502 4N2H5 plus. Calculate the total volume. So, 1 liter plus 2 milliliter. We will get 1.002 liter. Calculate the final concentration of N2H4 and we will get 0.0996 molar. N2H5 plus turns out to be 0.0501 molar. By using the henderson hasselbalch equations, we will get the pH 5.47 and the pH will be 8.53. Last questions. Calculate the new pH of the buffer after the addition of 2 ml of 0.2 molar NaOH. As usual, the first step is to determine the number of moles of NaOH added. So here we get 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4. By using the dissociation equation, we can see here that there is 4 times 10 to the power of negative 4 moles of OH- minus added since this is a buffer solution uh, sorry a basic buffer solution when a strong base is added the conjugate acid n2h5 plus will react to neutralize the base added so we write the equation between n2h5 plus and oh minus which produce N2H4NH2O. So the initial mole for N2H5 plus is 0 0.05, 0 0.1 for N2H4. The mole added is 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 mole changes is minus 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 for reactants and plus 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 for N2H4. The final mole for N2H5 plus is 0 0.0496 0 for OH minus and 0 0.1004 for N2H4. Calculate the total volume and we will get 1.002 liter. Calculate the final concentration of N2H4 which will be 0 0.1002 molar. Concentration of N2H5 plus is 0.0495 molar and by using henderson hasselbalch equation, we will get the pOH is 5.46 and pH 8.54. Okay, now it's your turn student to complete the exercise in the handout. Thank you.